Unlike Yala Patani and Nagatiwat, Satun, despite being a Muslim-majority province, is at peace with the authorities in Bangkok and the Buddhist community in Satun itself. End of the road for me, border crossing. Quite an interesting spot though up in the hills. Well, this was dubbed Mus Muslim or Muslim food. And the first thing they offered me was Tom Yam. Bit of true life cooking. Yeah, we've got chilies, we've got ginger, herbs, garlic. So, all quite fun on the road trip, going native. Looking forward to my lunch, been to see the ladies cooking it. Suddenly fresh. The authorities in Satun itself are pleased with their peaceful coexistence between the religions and their peaceful relationships with Bangkok, as shown in their National Museum. The building was built as a residence for King Chulalongkorn when he visited Satun, and has now been turned into a museum. Well, the terrain is the same, the economy is the same, rubber plantations, palm oil plantations. But I'm in Satun. It's a majority Muslim state, or province, and it's starting to show. Gradually, I have seen more and more ladies wearing the veil, more and more men clearly devout Muslims, and the temples are giving way to mosques. This dome-shaped structure is an Islamic school, though the students were very vague about what was being taught when I asked them. They simply said technical subjects. It was clear that this part of the world was once part of Malaysia. All of the customs made you feel as if you were in that country. But I could not help but be concerned that the people seemed to be taking the law into their own hands. There is no law of prohibition in Thailand, that's for sure. But the day ended on a peaceful note as I watched the sunset. And yes, I did get hold of a beer to watch the sunset with. 